finally getting around to filming the March uh, journaling slash planner kind of recap flip through whatever you want to call it um, there is a little bit of an update this time around I have changed a little something about the system which if you watch the weekly videos you will have seen it's not the biggest change ever um, I didn't I changed a part of a book um, and I basically moved my commonplace um, entries over from uh, my regular journal into a ring binder. Uh, I am waiting for a cover to arrive so I don't have that to show you at the moment. I've been using uh, just a Muji cover <laughs> um, but I'll give you a flip through of this in a second and then I have some loose pages that I've been working in um, to put in the new cover because um, the whole reason I ended up buying a new cover uh, is because I wanted to switch over to six rings uh, and this is just a two ring binder um, but I'll get more into that in a second. Um, I thought I would kind of follow the same uh, kind of like progression as I usually do and start with uh, the two like quickest books so my pocket notebook and my weeks um, I have actually been using my pocket notebook quite a lot in the past just few days just because I was studying and so I made some notes from an exam <laughs> I just had like as I was studying I just had a couple of things to write down and this was the closest paper that I could find um, so I was making just quick notes about some definitions that I wanted to make sure to go over um, some other things that I wanted to do and like packing for the weekend that kind of stuff tracking some revision uh, I wanted I made a quick little meal plan so I had a vague idea of what to eat uh, and didn't have to think about it every evening and then I think this was before Easter I made um, a couple of weekly spreads that I didn't quite end up using but it helped me to like visualize the days as I was planning uh, and then just more random lists of, of things which is always pretty much the same this was the end of February so um, not too many pages but I am getting through this I'm over halfway through at the moment uh, and again these are just if you if you've watched uh, my videos before you'll know these are just um, the pocket notebooks that I kind of bring with me everywhere to make random notes that would otherwise go in my notes in my phone app and then eventually get lost and I would forget about them. Um, this seems to help. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still still kind of using this. Nothing really has changed about this. Um, I think it'll probably last me another couple of months, which will be pretty neat, I think, because... If this lasts me another, like through April or May, that will be six months in this in this book. And like having two of these a year would be very neat. Um, so that's one, not not too interesting, but like the quickest one to, to just get it out of the way. Uh, the weeks has some pretty spreads this month, I feel like. So this was the week across from the end of February to the beginning of March. And then I think around the second week of March is when I released my everyday collection stickers so I was starting to use them in these spreads so I could take some pictures and also just test them out for myself. This is one of my favorite ones, it's such a cute kitty um, and I was just testing them out. These are some uh, Sue Atelier, um, just tiny stickers, I love them, they're just very easy to, to pop around somewhere, very cute. Um, I do actually have to go back <laughs> and uh, draw out all of the lines for my mood trackers. I haven't been doing that. I don't know if I've done it at any point throughout the book. I have. Okay, I did in December uh, and it's at the start of January, but I haven't done it since January. I feel like I've said this in one of these videos before and didn't actually go back and do it. This week, um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just uh, apparently did not decorate things. I think is when I started... No, because this week is when I started going to the lab and doing things. I don't know, I must have had a busy week and forgot to decorate um, things. This is a really, really cute spread with some of Megan's uh, spring stickers. I really liked this green and black and white. Very simple, very minimal, but um, very spring-like colour palette. So I wanted to use some of the stickers in here. Um, and I always like when the pages look a bit fuller. Uh, well, like when I have a lot of tasks. Um, I don't always do it, but I like to break down tasks into like smaller 
bits that are to, to tick off because it's satisfying. Um, but oftentimes when I do that, it then becomes too much to fit into, into these pages. Um, like if I have two tasks for the day and then I break it up into like five or six each, it doesn't fit in here. So I don't always do it, but I always like when, when the spreads are a bit fuller. Um, this is a really cute one as well. This is from my Van Gogh stickers. Um, I don't remember, uh, the, I got these from Stationery Pal as well, but I don't remember what like brand they are from. Um, and then some more tiny little cute Sue Atelier ones. I also added a, um, a small like lecture notes tracker here at the bottom because I had a series of lecture notes that I wanted to go through uh, and like add pictures to uh, compared to like professor slides, that kind of stuff. So I made myself a small tracker for that at the bottom. I normally keep that stuff in Notion. I have like a massive um, table with all of that, with all uh, lecture dates and like it's color coded. So I know what like which notes uh, I've gone through, which I haven't, which I'm like halfway through, that kind of stuff. But sometimes it's uh, nicer to also have them in here. This might actually be my favorite one. Uh, it's already the start of April, but since I am filming this uh, on the 7th of April, I thought I would show you. Uh, it's with my new spring stickers that I designed uh, last week, like across Easter weekend. Don't know what happened there, I must have gotten some tea over it or something. Um, but I really like this one. I think the spread turned out very, very cute, so. That's that's the weeks. Uh, I have also already set up next week's, so that'll be the second week of April, uh, with one of my own stickers again, and then some more Sue Atelier ones. Um, I wanted to go with like some cute but tiny ones, and also I smudged <laughs> the ink on this line, so I wanted to cover it up with something. Um, and also I have been using the back pages. I feel like I've been using the pages quite a bit this month. Um, wrote down some things about exams just to to plan things out visualize things out um mostly i wrote down a massive list of commonplace entries that i would like to transfer over to my new rings system so i went through all of uh, my old journals that i've completed and archived uh, and also the ones that i haven't archived i do need to buy archive binders um and i basically noted down all of the entries that i liked and i wanted uh, to transfer over to the new system and so I'm very slowly make, making my way through these uh, I would have done a little bit more I actually have some that I need to cross off but I would have done a bit more um, if I hadn't then realized that I needed to change to a six ring binder and so I had to like get new paper and, and stuff like that so it, um, I couldn't really journal for a while um, but things are going well and then I added one of Megan's uh, like post-it notes I guess um, with a list of things that I wanted to do over the holidays I've put together a reading list I've been reading again this month um, I think because I realized when I started going to the lab I started my like internship or apprenticeship this month um, and it's quite a long commute uh, to the lab and, and back home so I realized that it'd be a really good time for me to just read <laughs> instead of because it's like I have to take the tube as well as so my phone like does no signal and also I don't re really want to be on my phone for like an hour like I run out of things to do so um, I realized it'd be a good a good time to read and actually I have a couple of ones to cross off because I did read the secret history I, I reread the secret history and I read if we were villains as well and now I'm reading Babel so uh, exciting to be back into reading after actual years of being in a massive readers block uh, and I, I wrote down a spring cleaning list for myself that I haven't been able to start yet. Well, actually, I did do this, this first thing. So that's a small start, but a start nonetheless. Um, and I think that's it. So that's the update for the weeks. No, nothing really out of the ordinary. Um, I just like the consistency of this book. It's a relaxing thing to set up every week and it's a comforting thing to know uh, what my spreads will look like and to know what to expect. So I, I also just know that it works well. So that's cool. Um, moving on to my journal, I did actually finish this book. <laughs> Finally. I've been in here since the end of December and this is, this took twice as long to complete as, um, these journals will t were taking me last year. I, last year, uh, for majority of the year, I was going through these every month and a half, which was very satisfying. I felt like I was in a really, really good flow with them. And with this book, I have not felt like that. Um, 
I did at the very beginning and then I think the major thing that happened is just that so much of what used to go in here and especially the membrane keeping uh, I ended up moving to the Hon because um, that was like the main thing that I wanted for this year's uh, like journaling system. I wanted to have a dated book where I could write down daily entries and I was really struggling to do this uh, in this book. I tried a couple of times, I tried at some point to do it at the back of the weeks as well and it just it wasn't working so I I really really wanted to pick up the Hobonichi Hon and I'm very very glad that I did. Um, but because of that it kind of meant that I took a lot out of here and then it's taken me a few months to kind of figure out how to navigate that and what where like that leaves me with this book then and I I'm gonna give you a flip through as kind of uh, as, as I talk I, I copied down an article at the very beginning of it uh, I was talking about zines and I was talking about index cards so there were some nice entries at the beginning um, a couple of nice paintings um, I was I was having a good time with it at the beginning, but it was filling up very very slowly and then and this kind of ties into to the commonplace thing that I ended up changing changing this month What ended up happening was just kind of I was thinking about it and I was thinking about the fact that this book Didn't really seem to be working anymore and I wasn't sure whether it was the size of it, um, because a Traveler's Notebook regular size is a bit of an odd shape, a bit of an odd like format to be writing in if you're used to only ever writing in uh, like an A5 or A4 like standard format, uh, because obviously it's a lot narrower. And I just feel like since I started printing pictures for the Hon in very set formats, I have like uh, set sizes that I use to resize my pictures and procreate and stuff. I made like uh, grey coloured squares that I can <laughs> just kind of uh, resize my pictures with uh, whenever I go to print things out. Uh, since I started doing that, I was then also doing that for this book or I wasn't really drawn, like for these ones are the same size that I've uh, used to print my pictures in the horn. I don't feel like that's a size that fits very well on these pages. I don't like this spread. <laughs> um, this one, same thing. I don't feel like it fits that well. This one definitely doesn't. What's that gap? <laughs> like it should have been a centimeter or two larger. So I just felt really weird. Like I felt like the pictures I was printing weren't really fitting in this uh, in this size book. And I just was looking through my old books and I felt like in those I was being a lot more experimental and I could see that I was just having a lot more fun playing around with picture sizes and text and boxes and, and lines and uh, drawing things in and um, using stickers and whatnot. And it was just working a lot better. And I wanted to try and bring some of that back into it. Uh, and I definitely still do. But as I was thinking about it and I was as I was kind of reflecting on the size of the book as well, I was thinking about how I haven't really been writing down commonplace entries in here. Even if I have been saving things that I would eventually like to commonplace uh, or like to add to my commonplace, I haven't been doing that because that this size really does feel weird for commonplacing. And I was thinking about that and I was thinking about potentially then taking the commonplace entries out of this book and making them into their own separate book and how... I would really like an A5 book for commonplace entries because I feel like that would give me a lot of freedom. Uh, first of all, uh, the possibility of having a margin. I did uh, draw margin at the very beginning of this book at some point and it's just you can see that there's very little space to write anything in the margin and outside of the margin. I don't feel like it works very well. It's just the page is already narrow on its own. I don't think making it even more narrow um, really works. And also I just liked the idea of the A5 for potential collages or being able to print out pictures and kind of lay them out in different ways or print out bigger pictures as well. Um, just, I was starting to think about that. And then as I was uh, kind of thinking about it, I did a few journal entries about it in here as well. Um, and I ended up deciding to try out a rings system. Uh, so I already had this uh, Muji ring binder. Uh, I'd been using it to store like 
printouts and pictures and stuff. Uh, and I already had this. I bought the paper one day when I was in Muji. It's like cheap paper anyways. Um, and I thought if this doesn't, doesn't work, we use up paper in the house anyways. Um, I was using this to, to write notes and like rewrite notes as I was studying earlier anyways. Um, and I thought I would give a ring bound system a go because as I was thinking about changing things up with the commonplace, I was thinking about making the system more efficient as well. And I feel like there are a few topics uh, that I generally tend to write my commonplace entries about. And it would be really nice to be able to group out my articles, my quotes, whatever, by topic. Because... It would just be a lot more satisfying, it would be a lot easier to flip back through and to look back for things. Um, and I was thinking that it would be really difficult to do that in a bound book. Uh, I was considering like Hobonichi notebooks, uh, Midori, uh, or MD paper, I always forget which one is which. Uh, I think it's MD paper notebooks, but I was thinking about some things and I ended up deciding to try out the ring system at the moment. Uh, so that's what I'm testing out, however what I realised when I I was browsing for covers last week just to get an idea of what was out there is that most ring bound uh, like systems or like most nice ring bound covers don't have two rings they have six rings <laughs> but the paper that I'm using in here which is Muji paper I think it's 20 hole paper it doesn't fit in a six ring binder and so I realized that I'd made some nice entries that I am going to uh, move over once the actual cover arrives, which is this cover. Uh, I'll leave a link below if I if I remember. Um, if I forget and you mm, want to know about it, just ask me about it. It's from an Etsy shop. Um, uh, and I'm waiting for that to arrive. It's meant to ar arrive this week, so I'll move everything over to it uh, probably at the weekend. But I'd made some really nice entries and I didn't want to keep making more because then I thought this paper isn't going to fit in a new cover. So I bought new paper um, that it has uh, just the six rings punched in. I don't know how well you can tell. Um, there you go. Uh, and I have just been writing on, on these. I have I made a test page as well so I could test like highlighters, smudging and pen smudging and stuff. Um, I will say I bought this paper from Amazon because... It, it's also why I was very confused <laughs> when I went looking for covers and I couldn't find two ring covers. To me, a ring binder is a two ring binder. I have never seen a six ring binder in person or a four ring binder. Those are a thing too, apparently, <laughs> completely alien to me. I was not aware. Um, so I couldn't find six ring binder paper very easily, so I had to order that on Amazon. Um, it's a little bit more... Like the Muji paper is very, very smooth if you've ever worked with it. It does, it feels quite similar to uh, the um, Hobonichi paper as well, the Tomoe River paper. Um, this feels more like, more similar to Traveler's Notebook paper. Um, it feels a bit more gritty. Uh, it's thicker as well, which I think is nicer because I was being very paranoid about uh, my holes ripping. So I was putting like little stickers around them. Uh, I have also been told by several people that with a six ring binder, there is less of a likeliness that your page will rip out. So I'm very happy about that. Um, but my pen, which is a Muji pen, dries really, really quickly on this paper. Um, so it's a, a slightly less smooth writing experience, though not unpleasant in any way. Uh, but it dries instantly, which is wonderful because I do tend to smudge my pens, unfortunately. So I have started making some pages in here. Um, I have been, they're not all written on the back. A lot of them aren't actually because I don't have the riders yet. Um, I am planning on making some, um, but I haven't bought cardstock. I haven't bought uh, a hole punch yet and that kind of stuff. I just wanted to start things very easy and, and see how I get on with things uh, properly before I actually invest in buying a lot of things. Um, but, I will be grouping things up by topic, as I said, so I'll have some some dividers for like the main topics and then probably like a miscellaneous uh, section. Uh, there will definitely be one for book reviews, uh, now that I'm reading again, which is very exciting, and kind of related to that, book quotes. So in here, the first things that I wrote down in here were a whole load of quotes from Secret History. I really, really like these spreads that I put together. Um, so those are really nice. My secret history uh, book review. 
which I might add some more to because I still have a back page, my Good Omens book review, and then some Good Omens, some of my favorite Good Omens fan art uh, with credit at the bottom. Um, and in, in the new paper, um, I wrote down my If We Villains uh, review, which fit really nicely actually. So uh, there will be a section for, for that. There will be a section for nostalgia, um, so I have a couple of things about that. But I, within that, I am going to have like subcategories that are not going to be separated by dividers. But what I've done is I've written my title at the very top, and then I'm writing kind of the category name at, on the side, uh, just to make things easier to find. Um, I need still need to find a title for that one. Um, and this is uh, my other main category, which will be like languages and translation. Um, and I think now that I'm reading Babel uh, as well, um, which has to do with translation, uh, it's like a dark academia book, but it's based on translation. Uh, they're like translation students, like languages students and stuff. Um, I think probably my quotes that I copy down from there are not going to go in the book section, but they're going to go in the language section. But I, that's the nice thing, nice thing about the ring bound system is that I can move things around uh, based on what I feel like or where I feel like the pages should go uh, on any given day, which is really fun. And also, I can print things out, <laughs> uh, which will be very nice. I Sometimes I do have like really, really long articles that I want to copy out, and then I think, I'm like, do I really want to spend like three hours copying this out? Maybe not. Um, so it will be really nice to be able to print things out. But I have yet to refine the system. This is just, it's very bare bones. It's very much testing things out, but it's a start. Uh, and I'm very excited to keep working on it. Uh, it will be nice to have the archive kind of slowly build up and uh, kind of, I don't know, it will be very interesting to see it over, to see it evolve over time. But that's, that was kind of the commonplace uh, thing that I, that I mentioned earlier. Um, and then in the meantime, I have actually finished this book. So I've set up a new one. Well, I've not really set up a new one. Um, I have it here on the side. I decorated the front cover, um, but I haven't actually uh, really mm, set up like the first page. Um, I decorated the front cover and I wrote down April, but I haven't even written the date and I haven't written anything on the first page. Uh, there is an entry on the back that I don't necessarily want to show because it's a bit private, so uh, you, won't, you won't get to see that. Uh, let's... Okay, reset that. <laughs> um, but uh, there's that. Uh, and I'm also, something that I'm going to try to do in this book from now onwards is I'll try to, I have a date stamp. Um, I'll try to date stamp at least my personal entries because I feel like it will be nice to have some kind of temporal reference in there as well. Um, so there's that. Um, and this book will be ready to archive. I have put one of Megan's archive stickers at the front. Uh, these are the ones that I put in all of my archived books. Uh, I have two or three that I need to go back and fill out. Um, but I also always write kind of like a bit of an end, uh, end note, uh, wrapping up the book and like summing up, um, what was going on within the book at the end. So they're very easy to backfill. Uh, but I will be probably doing that when I actually properly archive these books. Uh, but I need to buy archive binders for that. <laughs> um, and then I am going to take a sip of tea and then we can go through the star of the show as always, um, my Hobonichi Han. Okay, um, so March, uh, I have filled out every page. I did have to backfill a couple of pages, but I don't know if I can remember them. So we're just going to pretend as if I'd filled them out every day. Um, I did start out the month with one of Megan's illustrations. Um, I don't remember what, I think she posted about it on Patreon or something, maybe in March, maybe in February, I'm not sure. Um, I just, I really liked the colours and how they went with this picture of my cat, so I wanted to have it in there. Um, and then I also have one of her trackers, as always, at the beginning of the month for art tracking. Um, and then a lot of the stickers this month, pretty much all of the stickers I this month are either mine or, or hers as well. So as always, I'll have like a list of uh, like the shops that I get my stickers from in the description so you can check them out. But if you have questions about any specific one, uh, you can ask. Um, these are also Suatelier ones. 
couple of pictures about Stardew Valley. Uh, I haven't played in like a couple of weeks while I've been studying and stuff and, and busy, but I might have a nice a nice bit of uh quiet like like a nice quiet evening. Uh, and I might do a little bit of playing tonight. I haven't even checked out the new update or anything. Like I am so I've been so out of it uh, for a couple of weeks, but um, I had I'd set up a couple of pretty things and I uh, really I was proud of it and I wanted to print pictures out. Um, so that's how March started. And then a lot of it was me designing stickers. So um, I have no idea what I was talking about here. First day of lectures, uh, also first day in the lab. So some some thoughts about that. Um, here we went out for dinner. Uh, it was me and my two best friends essentially, um, and we had a really really nice night. And then we went to the to another. We, well, we went out for dinner to a pub, and then we went out to another pub to meet up with some friends after dinner. Um, some more stickers that I was drawing. This is the last sticker sheet that I drew, and then over the weekend I think I took pictures and like uploaded them. Uh, this is one of my favorite stickers that I drew from that set. I love 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 this ramen bowl. The eggs turned out so cute. Um, the noodles turned out quite cute as well. I was afraid they would turn out terrible, but I really like them. A um, uh, little poem that I saved, probably from Tumblr or Pinterest. Uh, one of my friend's Ness uh, stickers. Um, I need to get them out, actually. Um, I Because I took out... My sticker collection is a mess at the moment. Big goal for this month is to sort it out. But basically, I took out some stickers that I was like, okay, I'm going to use these for the time being so that I don't have to rummage through the entire mess every time. Uh, and I think these got left behind, so I need to take them out so I can use them more. Uh, because they were, I think they would fit quite nicely with the Hobonichi colours this month with the nice pink. Uh, went out for pizza... I think this is the night that we went, um, like we had a high school reunion dinner, I'm fairly sure. We have those quite regularly, we do them like twice a year, three times a year sometimes. Um, so I think that's a picture from that. Grandma's birthday, uh, she turned 81, uh, so we had a nice little cake. Uh, we had a really, really nice uh, uh, Sunday together. Um, and then here I was working on some paintings that I actually really, really like. Uh, I love this picture. I really like this picture. Um, I think I should probably have printed it out twice and also included a bigger version in my journal. Like that's the kind of thing that I kind of got out of the habit of doing. I used to include a lot more pictures in my journal and just, it was a lot more creative. It was, it was a lot nicer um, and it felt a lot, uh, I don't know, it was a lot prettier and I was a lot m more drawn to to using it and to picking it up um well I feel like now that's this and not so much that and I want to balance things out again a little bit um and some really pretty stickers I really like the purple tone of of this of this spread um this is a very cute picture that I took of a cat that I saw on my way to the lab I was so happy that morning when I saw that cat and I found out that's another one They've got a friend, they've got an orange friend, uh, but I didn't get to see them very up close. <laughs> um, I wrote down a quote here, uh, which I did tag with my commonplace uh, dot, just because it was a short quote. See, again, I don't know why I put it in here instead of putting it in, the, uh, in, in my journal. Really, I don't know. Um, but I want, that's kind of what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about when I'm saying like, this book hasn't really felt too comfortable, it's not really been something that I reach for, it's not really felt like home in the same way the the previous ones have, uh, well this one really does, so I'd like to balance things out uh, a little bit. Um, this is a Tumblr post that I'd saved and printed out and I didn't know where to put it, but I was thinking a lot, uh, this is when like the weather first started turning nice and then we had a full on week of rain, but uh, we we had a really nice few days of, of, of sunshine and I was starting to think about spring and I was think, thinking a lot about like beautiful little things and so this was kind of related to that and like to the everyday and that kind of thing. Um, one of my favorite stickers from, from Megan, loved um, daffodils I think they're meant to be. Uh, this spread is also one that I really like, very very neutral but uh, a fancy dinner that I went to um, uh, with some of my gym friends and then, uh, the cutest little cat. I love her with all of my heart. Um, she was yesterday, she was the cutest little thing. She spent like three hours proper asleep with her belly in the sun. That's like her favorite spot at the moment on my mom's carpet. 
And I was like, I was, we were like petting her and she just wasn't, she was so unbothered and sleepy and I just want to be her. <laughs> um, but I really love this picture that I took of her. And I had to print it out. Uh, some more, some more talking. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about. This was the weekend, so yeah. Here I was uh, talking about flowers growing and like uh, how nice, how nice that was to see, and the fact that I've I, I've really been craving spring and warmth and sunlight. <laughs> Uh, this might actually be my favorite spread of the month. That's a lot of spreads that I like. I don't feel like it was a particularly cohesive month, cohesive look looking month in this book, but there's a lot of spreads that I very much like individually. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, this is when I first started thinking that uh, there was a problem with, with this book and I started thinking about the commonplace uh, changes that I wanted to make. Um, and I took this picture and then the next day, um, me and one of my best friends went to the park to have a picnic for lunch. Um, I had a morning class and then an afternoon class which she also takes with me and so we just got lunch together and had a walk around the park in the in like during lunch break um, and it was really really lovely and that's also the day that I started reading The Secret History because I'd finished reading Good Omens uh, so that's nice. I should probably I have been keeping track of my reading uh, with Storygraph. Uh, I used to use Goodreads but I've heard Storygraph is better so I've I don't know, I'm testing it out. Um, so I know when I started reading what book and stuff, but I should probably write it um, in the top section here. I used to use it at the beginning of the year uh, to track like reading. Um, mostly I was reading fan fiction here um, to track reading and to track um, studying and stuff. But I haven't been doing that. Maybe I should. But I also like the way that pages look um, when I when I don't use this top section. I don't know, I don't need the check boxes anyways. Um, here, my uh, one of my friends uh, played a gig, so we uh, we went to see him. So I put some of my music related stickers that I put that that I that I drawn recently. Um, I took a couple of pictures of of, of, of well what, that friend that was playing and another friend of ours, uh, but they really didn't print out very well. They were a lot more like saturated, and they very much felt like you know, music gig aesthetic. If you look for that on Pinterest, uh, so I might get them reprinted uh, at some point, and then change them around though I do think if I rip out the tape it will if I rip off the tape it will rip out the page <laughs> so I might I don't know I'll find a solution for that uh, I might just cut it out or something uh, and then here is when I started using uh, the commonplace ring system so I put my little sticker for that um, also really like this spread very cool toned again not very cohesive with the rest of the month, but individually very, very pretty spread. Uh, one of Megan's gloomies, one of Anna's stickers, uh, because I thought the colors matched really well. Um, this was a book thumb uh, a, a book thumbnail, uh, a video thumbnail that I really liked, so I printed that out. Um, and then here, I think here is when I was still reading The Secret History and I started like copying out quotes and, and that kind of stuff. Um, here I was writing about like, yeah, I've been copying down my highlighted passages in the secret history in this ring bound commonplace test that I'm doing and the different format uh, plus the margins combo has felt so inspiring. So, you know, just a little bit about that. Um, very plain spread, a couple of very full days in the lab. These were, um, I, I remember that. Um, another v uh, very plain spread because uh, this is when I started feeling a bit sick. I was sick over Easter. Uh, I had the most terrible cold and I it was very in my head <laughs> and it was not fun. Uh, it's still not quite over, but I am better. Um, so there's that. Here I forgot to print out a picture. Um, I went, because uh, I was over uh, to my parents for, for Easter, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. And I came back on Tuesday, uh, which was this Tuesday that's just passed. And uh, on the Saturday, my mum was off work. And so we went out to have breakfast together at a local bakery. And we went out and then like, uh, we went to the market to buy uh, fruits and veg and, and that kind of thing. And it was a really, really lovely morning that we spent together. But I forgot to print out that picture when I printed out the rest of them. And then on the Sunday, she made really, really nice uh, pasta for lunch. So I printed out a picture for, uh, of that. And then in the afternoon, um, we all went to get, uh, went together to see a photography exhibition. So I took the ticket from that and I put it in here uh, as a little flap. Um, 
there were some really, really nice photographs, but I didn't really take a lot of pictures um, and none that I really wanted to print out. So, you know, printed out the pasta and that was it. Uh, and then this is my setup for April. So I had a big picture um, that I took in the park last year. Um, if, it, it's very close to the place where we uh, had the picnic earlier on in the month. Uh, it's the same park. Um, this is just, I, I think, a bit closer to the entrance. But it was a really cute picture. I printed out together with this one uh, and I thought I'd put my art tracker on top of that. Um, and then, yeah, just a bit of working on my stickers and some of my new sticker sheets. Um, I do need to catch up on this page. Uh, and I made a list of the pictures that I want to print out. Um, and that's today. So we're all caught up in the hon. Um, I will actually... I will go back and back fill this page, but uh, most of it will be covered by a picture, so there's not a lot to, to write in there. <laughs> um, I have, this is very random, but on the topic of pencil boards, I thought as I picked it up, does anyone have any links or any recommendations or anything for just like plain black pencil boards <laughs> or plain white pencil boards, um, just like plain neutral color pencil boards, because I would really like to get a pencil board for the weeks because I find myself lately using this one a lot as I'm writing in here to avoid smudging um, because the old Hobonichi paper smudges so much with this pen uh, especially compared to this one. This one doesn't doesn't smudge at all um, but I don't really like any of the ones that they've got out at the moment and I haven't been able to find any of the old ones. I don't even know really like if there's any of the old ones that I would particularly like. Um, so I thought I would ask, it'd be really cool if they made this in the week size as well. Um, and you could like buy it separately from the Han because I actually really like this. It's very, very helpful as a ruler and for measuring things. Uh, because it's transparent. It's so cool to just be able... I often do the thing where I measure out my pictures because I can never remember what size they are and I can just measure them like that and know what size they are and then visualize it on the, on the other page as well. So handy. Um, but I'd really like to get a weak size pencil board and an A5 size pencil board to then uh, hole punch and put in here as well, potentially. Um, but I don't... I don't know where to find them. So if you have recommendations for that, please send them my way. They would be very much appreciated. And that's, I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna probably go and keep writing some more entries. I was making some, some of these pages earlier this afternoon, so I might actually make more this, well, it's quite nearly dinner time, but um, not, not quite. So I probably have like, half an hour or so to keep writing before before dinner uh, well before I have to make dinner so it'll be nice to just have that as like a quiet start to my evening and then I'll play some statue tonight uh, maybe watch a film or something um but I'm happy to finally have been able to film this video because it's been so late because I forgot my call and place at my parents and I didn't want to film the video without that because that's like the one important update <laughs> in this video um I'm excited to show you uh, next month, uh, ideally, how things have progressed or like how things will have progressed and like um, give you an update on how things will be going and how I find the cover and stuff. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see it. I think it's a beautiful cover. It's exactly how I had imagined it. It's got gold rings and like pockets on the sides um, and the button closure and it's black and I just think it's gonna be so cute. Um, I was thinking, because. <laughs> Okay, this is so random. Um, I was thinking, uh, I don't need it at all and I wouldn't like it, but some friends on Discord were talking about the week's uh, note cover, uh, or would it be like n note? Not, I don't know, it's an Italian word. I don't know how to pronounce it with a British accent or an English accent or whatever. Um, that cover, uh, like the black zip cover that Hovenichi make for the weeks. I think it's a beautiful cover. I would not like it because the thing that I like about the weeks is how slim and portable it is and I love the fact that it can just slide in everywhere and it's very easy to just like pull open and write in and like just check in very quickly and throw in a drawer and it's so so handy. Uh, it fits in any bag and I can fit in my coat if I need to, that kind of stuff. But I thought how 
like how cool would it be if I had my journal in my Traveler's Notebook black cover, my commonplace in this black gorgeous rings cover and then the weeks in that black hobonichi cover like that would be the absolute perfect trio that would make me so happy but i literally would not like it <laughs> so there's no point but i was thinking about it and i was like ah uh, aesthetically that would be so satisfying but literally i don't need it i wouldn't even enjoy it so i'm not even going to consider it um maybe keep it in mind for the future sure but at the moment it's not what i need um anyways uh silly silly planner thoughts that i thought i would share um i hope you enjoyed the general flip through i hope that you've been doing well um how have have things been going in your own planners are you still uh like in the system that you set up at the beginning of the year have some things changed what uh feel free to share them in the comments i'm always really really excited to hear about other people's systems um so if you have anything like that that you feel like sharing feel free to ramble on about it in the comments. I will be uh, likely rambling, like replying with very long rambly comments as well, <laughs> like I oftentimes do. Um, and with that being said, I hope that you're having a nice Sunday evening uh, when those this will be going up and um, I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.